Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we configure JDeveloper for the version of Article.2 EBS. Okay, so let me go to zip file which I got from Oracle. Like um, this is zip file I'm using for the purpose of OAF Article.2 development. Just extract this one, extract here. So this will have three folders. And also just always validate what is your particular EBS version first. So if you just click on help about, you can just find out what is your EBS version. So in our case, my version of EBS is 12.09. And also some information on the page, like here if you observe on the UI level of your EBS, just click on uh, about this page. Technology components, and you can find out the OA version, nothing but similar to your EBS version, okay? And now, let us see this extraction. Yeah, it should get finished within a couple of seconds. And the first setting what we do is, like once this got extracted, the first setting what you have to do is, you need to set the user, JW user home environment variable. Generally, this ha always has to point to, JW user home has to point to JW home, JW directory. So like once you see the extraction here, so here, let me refresh. It's still working on. So by that time, let me go to the environment variable, my computer, properties, advanced, environment. So here, JW user home should point to the, like in my case, C colon Sriram, JW home slash JW, okay? So now let us see whether it got extracted. Okay, it all, it's almost done. Now just see here. We have one directory called JDAV bin, other one is JDAV documentation as well as JDAV home. And also observe this readme text file. This has a clear information about which particular version of EBS it supports. Okay, it says 12.2, nothing but mostly it supports any of your R12.2 version after 12.3. Okay, higher end is always supported, but lower end is doubtful, but higher end is always supported. Now, next thing is like uh, we need to set the environment variable, we have done it. And the next setting, what we have to do is so. Create a shortcut of your exe file for J developer, which is for the purpose of OAF, there is no installation. If at all, if you are using J developer for the purpose of ADF or SOVA or any other particular application development, you may require installation, but the OA for the J developer, which we use it for the purpose of OAF, there is no installation. You just get the zip file extract it. That's it. Now the executable file, which we have to run it is will be available in this one, jdevw.exe, jdev w.exe. This will be available in the JDEV bin, JDEV again bin folder. So I'll just run it. Okay, it is asking whether you want to migrate from previous version. I don't want, click on no. And here it says some incompatibility issue with the J Java version still say this okay, click on yes. Okay, now JDEV home, JDEV, okay. Now the next thing is, we need to get the DBC file, right? The next thing is we have to get the DBC file. That will uh, that will be available in the FND secure folder. So in our case, I'll be, I have the DBC file in this location. So FND secure top, I'll go here. JDEV home, JDEV, DBC file secure. Copy the DBC file from your server to local machine. Okay. And what's the next setting? The next setting is once your particular JDEV is open, you need to create a DB connection. In this one, connection, database, new connection. So I'll say apps connection. This is your Oracle apps uh, database username password, nothing but your app schema password. And the next one is EBS uh, ERP dot. Let me check my TNS entry. This is ERP dot apps dot com fifteen twenty six. This should be success done. Now the next setting is tools default project project properties. Click on tools default project properties, and in the Oracle application database connection, select the database connection which we created just now. And there is nothing to set in the run options. Click on runtime connection, click on the browse in the 
So for this particular runtime connection, click on browse for the DPC file name. So where we have copied, we have copied our DPC file into this location, right? So there are two locations where you can place a DPC file. This is one of the one of the location. And this is the UI credentials. I'm going with operations, welcome, password, and this application short name of the responsibility. So this user is having a lot number of responsibilities, but I just want to assign a particular responsibility. Now here, if you observe, let's say this user operations is having the application developer responsibility. I just need to get the responsibility key of application developer as well as application short name of the application object library. So I'm just setting that information FND application underscore application underscore developer. So the initial configurations are done. Next thing is you just create a workspace and a page. Click on new OA workspace and go with the default properties. Click on OK. Click on OK. Next. Next. Next and finish. So this step will generate a my HTML files. Just observe this carefully. My HTML files. This has to be perfect, else nothing will work out. JDEV home, JDEV, my HTML, OA media as well as OA HTML. Okay. Now it got all these particular files which are very important for us to run it. Now workspace project got created. Now create the BC4G object. Click on new. ADF business component application module. Next, mention the project name. I'll just say x6oaf.oracle.apps.fnd. I'll say OAF Artwell. No, not this one. I'll say hello world am. This is my am name. x6oaf.oracle.apps.fnd. Fnd. Dot server. This is the location, this is a package of the AM. Click on next, next and finish. So now the AM got created. Next one is create, create a page. Create the page in the FND folder, new, OA components and page. Bro click on browse and select the appropriate package structure or else you just type it. Hello world, PG. Now the page got created. There are some other properties you have to set on the page also. Main region, AM definition, XXOAF, this one, and the window title, as well as page title. Now we are almost done. And I'll just set my default browser property to Firefox, okay? Uh, see program Mozilla Firefox, Firefox.exe and okay. Even the Chrome is also fine. Press F11 or you can just right click and click on run. So initial time, it may take some time to build it. Okay, it says some non-qualified name is used. As of now, just say yes. Okay, still compiling. Okay. Fine. So this is our simple page. Let me add as a couple of components. I'll just see. Okay, I just added a few items. Again, press F11. Okay, that's it. 
So this is our 12.2 version of OA fridge. And if you observe carefully, there is nothing much, not major difference between a 12.13 OAF development as well as 12.2 OAF development. Of course, there are some set of OAF components which are designed specially for the 12.2, nothing but which, which, are, which are available only 12.2. Okay, we'll try to concentrate on them in the next coming session. Thank you.